You yeah, okay, museum? Yeah, it's brilliant. So many planes here. And so, yeah, there's so many planes. Like the Vulcan bomber as well that you just saw in the last clip is brilliant. It's, you don't know about the size of it until it actually comes to walking underneath it. I'll finally put a uh, clip of that in. Like just walking underneath the Vulcan bomber. Which is a brilliant plane. Talk about it for ages. See, so they're currently fixing one up over the back. They're actually fixing two up, I think. And look at this one here. Absolutely brilliant. And to think, these used to be in service once. It's incredible. Okay, so I promised a clip of walking under the Vulcan. Here it is. This is the Vulcan at Newark Air Museum. And she used to be in service. And just to stand under it like this, it's, it's incredible. It's, it's brilliant, really. Like, you don't under, you don't sort of know about the size of it until you walk underneath it. So you can see in the sky, although it looks big, it is a lot, a lot bigger when it's down on the ground. And it's absolutely brilliant. So you've got the back of the uh, back of the jets here, back of the engines. The number of it is um, XM594. It's a brilliant, brilliant plane. Yeah. Uh, sorry about any wind noise you hear. Can't really help that. So I'll probably, yeah. So I'll probably just cover the microphone. Uh, anyways, I promised to give uh, it there. Oh yeah, English, there. Yeah. Not my strong point, apparently. <laughs> Even though I was brought up in England. Still am, oh well. Don't know why. I'm... Still, anyway, promised a clip of walking underneath the Vulcan. There you go. It's a brilliant plane. Absolutely brilliant. I don't really know, uh, I don't really know of uh, many other Vulcans. I know about two, possibly three. That's about it. Kind of rare. Anyway, wind noise is sort of picking up a bit, so I'll probably end the video off here, so thank you for watching. Goodbye. Don't worry, that wasn't a plane, that's just the uh, bag I'm holding on to.